it's Mike here again. It's now uh, six days since the uh, fermentation started on the wine. Uh, the instructions said leave five, but um, I just give it an extra day just to make sure. But it did actually stop bubbling after five days. So here goes. I'm about now to uh, to carry on and uh, uh, to complete right, the task. Here goes. Let's have, a, let's have a look and see what this uh, this wine looks like now after fermenting itself for six days. Wow, it looks, uh, it smells, it smells a bit yeasty, it smells uh, very strong. So the first thing what you have to do apparently is to take a sample and uh, use the hydrometer to, to check the um, specific gravity. So we'll take a sample out and put it into our jar. This has to show a, a level of one or less, or 1,000, 1,000, I said before, so 1,000 or less. And it's actually showing about, nine, nine, five. So it's, it's absolutely perfect. So, check this out. So, pour this back into the... Right, the next stage we have to do is to uh, transfer the, um, the wine into a secondary container. Um, I do this with a siphon. Uh, so what we're going to do is to uh, stick the siphon into the, into the bucket. There's a trap here on the bottom to stop uh, most of the sediment uh, transferring uh, that just sits on the bottom so the sediment shouldn't be any higher than that uh, it just stops most of the sediment from transferring into the new one so what we're going to have to do is to put this into here and uh, and draw off the liquid so here goes Right, now according to the instructions, the, uh, the next thing we have to do is to stir this uh, quite vigorously for about a minute and repeat it for three or four times, leaving a couple of minutes between stirs. Uh, the idea of this is to get rid of the, uh, the CO2 for the wine and it also, uh, it also helps to clear the wine. So I'm going to get the stir in with this and we'll come back again in a few minutes. Now that we've stirred this several times and got uh, got rid of the carbon dioxide, 
The next thing to do is to uh, add the stabiliser. Uh, so we'll uh, cut the top off here. And give this another good stir. Make sure it's all mixed in. Okay. We now have to put the uh, We now have to put the lid back on. And we put the uh, the airlock back in. And now we have to leave this for three hours. Uh, so I'll come back again in three hours' time. Now that three hours has passed, it's time to tip the lid off again and uh, add the first first lot of findings which uh, according to the instructions is findings A. Give that a good stir in. Mix it well in. And now we have to leave this for another hour. So we'll come back again then. Right, another hour has gone by and it's uh, time to add findings B. this another another good stir to make sure it gets well integrated with the the wine All right, we now have to put the put the lid back on. And leave this for 48 hours uh, to settle before we to bottle it. The instructions said to uh to leave it for 48 hours but uh, I've given it an extra day just to uh, just to be on the safe side so let's uh oh it all looked very good so the next thing to do is to uh, is to get it bottled so we put the siphon back in here again this has got the trap on the bottom just in case there's any sediment so I'll be careful not to not to disturb anything
As you can see, I've got a, a motley selection of bottles here, of all sorts. This is all old bottles that I've been collecting. Um, I can see this is going to be a messy job. Well, I think it's about time I uh, I give this a try and test it to see what it actually tastes like. Well, it looks it looks very nice. It's got not a not a deep smell, but it's certainly got a, an aroma to it. So, here goes. Well, for just over a week, that's not bad. That tastes every bit as good as a five or six pound bottle from the supermarket. And I'm sure after a month's time, this is going to be superb. Good health. Well, I'm going to leave the last uh, the last bit of wine in here. Uh, there's a there's a measure of sediment still in the bottom, so I don't want to go be putting that in the uh, in the bottles. Uh, as you can see, I've, uh, I've ended up with uh, 28, 25 and a half bottles, but to be fair, some of these are litre bottles, um, so it's probably closer to about 28 bottles. They say you get 30 bottles, but I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, all in all, a, a big success. I must say, it's, uh, the actual bottling part is a, is a bit messy. Uh, you need to do it somewhere clean, uh, somewhere you can mop up and clean up after yourself. Um, don't go do it near any carpets or anything that's going to get damaged. Um, I'll get better at it as it goes on. Um, it's just a question of controlling the flow of it out of here. I may end up getting a, a, a bottle filler. Um, that way it'll be um, a lot less messy. Um, all in all, I'm very satisfied indeed. So. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, the next time I'm going to try and make a, a Sauvignon Blanc. So look forward to the next video. Goodbye for now and thanks for watching.